Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about a very important real life example in Salesforce. When we are learning in Salesforce and we want to create a different objects and configure with the page, then probably this use case will help you to understand how to build it from scratch. So if you want to learn the complete process, then don't skip a single part of video otherwise you will miss a very important thread and if you are visiting this channel first time don't forget to like and subscribe the channel now let's understand the use case here when i am talking about uh, this use case so, so this use case is having a very important factor so let me explain you here when we are working on the salesforce this is a standard object called as contact and when we are just navigating into the services from the services options we will be able to see contact now here to add any specific fields which is required inside the contacts so probably will need multiple authentications and authorizations process so if you will click on any contact field this will open a new contacts to be added so here what is expectations for the user here my example is totally based on this field commissions so when you will click on commissions so here when we'll add the new condition commissions we will have a different objects or different piece to be available commission name commission date and commission amount so this is a real life example which I will show you here how we can add it inside contact so for doing this there are various processes so let's say company x would like to be able to record in the system every time a contact has earned a commission every contact can earn commissions multiple times company x would like to record each commission earned by a contact separately for creating these are the steps so this is the required steps which any organization will expect from you so let's say create a new contact or object to store the commissions then second action is each commission record should allow company x to record the commissions amount and the deed of commission was given and a new deed field and new currency fields to be marked with the commission object third is when viewing a contact in the system the system show the total amount of commissions earned by the contact and next is when viewing contact in the system the system should show a list with all the commissions amount and the date of the contact earned so let's build it from scratch so that you will able to understand so this is the steps which i have uh, explain what we are expecting with this contact so once i will click on new contact for adding a new contact we have this field and once i will add new commissions i can see commission name date and amount when i will save this contact information for the commissions at the end it will store all the commissions which is received for different user or for different contacts now to build this mandatory requirements will be you should be salesforce at administrator without that you won't be able to do it for creating a custom object in salesforce we have to navigate it to the setup just navigate it to the setup and from there we will get object manager so for creating a new objects we have to add the different things which is needed to be performed here so i will explain you this concept i will explain you in five parts so we'll go one by one so that you will be able to understand how we can build it from scratch now as i said when we will navigate it to the setup wizard we will have your object manager from the object manager we have to just click on this object manager click new object enter the name of the object let's say i am adding commission here so my objects label will be commission or advance commission advance commission commission and then here 
if we want to add plurals we can also add as commissions advanced commissions and object name will be advanced commission now here you can see object name is automatically identified and this will be like it examples here you can see after that if you want to add any descriptions probably we can add the descriptions open the standard cell force is auto selected but record name you can see advanced commission name and this is the type of data will be text now if i want to include all of the options probably i will select optional features otherwise i'll skip it here and in development or deployed status we are selecting here after that click on save so this is my first steps of creating an object once the object will be created second step or second process we have to perform like adding a field for advanced commission now fields objects will be available here so add a field we have to add a date field for commission date now to add the date field i want to just click on this new and from here we have different options so select this because we wanted to add a date field so here let's click on next and then i'm having a field type as advanced commission date and field name will be advanced commission date and if you want to add a required probably will select this so that this field will become a required field if you want to add any other descriptions that is also fine you can add it next now new custom field is created a part of that we will just click on next and from here we have options to save this save that's done another field we want as commission amount so because this is number so we'll select here number and click on next then i want the field label to be advanced commission amount advanced commission amount done length here is 18 decimal places we are providing just zero because this is number and again i want to mark this field as required field so this will become a new custom field as required field and we are done click on next so let's save this and we have other field is also available third field we want to add as commission type if we want we can add it otherwise let's uh do it on this type as well so the second step is completed to add the field in commission object third step to perform the this use case here is we have added each commission record should have company x to record commissions and now we want to view the system should show the total amount of commission to be earned for this contract so this is the fourth step let's first figure out to map this fields under relation so to map the relation field probably we have to just click a relationship between contact and advanced commission object so just click on new and from here what we have to do is look up a relation so here we we want to add just relation and then click on next so it's it's related to contact so probably we we wanted to add advanced relation advanced commission and then click on next here we have to enter the label or field name so advanced commissions and then again i want to add contact or maybe i will add child relationship as let me go back here let me add contact this no this is contract we want contact next fee is let's do it from beginning now as next the here we want to tag advanced commission and then we want to click next and let's tag the field as contact field name will be advanced commission
click on next here if you want we can select any any items from here otherwise we'll click on next that's it click on next see now if you can see here field and relation is also created next step will be to create a formula field in the contact object to calculate the total amount of commission earned by the contact so here we will do fields and relationship and in the new sections we will add formula so here just select the formula and from this we'll click next just select the type advanced commission as the field and then we have this and we want to calculate as currency so simply click on next click on next and from here we have to specify the total details so once we are done we just just to click the next and then save the format so this is the fourth step where we are adding the total value after doing all this we have to just map the object so as of now advanced commission amount equal to here we are just adding the fields so insert field will have advanced insert plus operator so that's the fields we want to map it click on next and just check formula add now we we are done just click on next to add all this value and after that we have another step to be performed so in another step we'll create a related list in the contact object to showcase all the commission earned by a contact here we we are saving the fields so that saved for total amount earned and after that the final step will perform for this use case is to create a related list for creating a related list we have to click on contact and from the page layout page layout we want to map it as i mentioned we have to click on object manager and from there i will select contact tag and then i will configure the data which we have done as a part of contact commissions advanced commission list so here we are tagging uh, with the page layout so from here contact page layout i will select this and will tag your advanced commission once commission So here object manager will go to contact and then inside the page layout will edit the page layout and here will have commission and commission amount. Now you can see commission amount is listed here and commission amount is this. So we have two options. After that once we are done we have to just save this and once we'll be saved let's go to service and from here we have the final object which we have created under contact click on new and then once we'll click on new we have those items available as a part of commission so here if you can see exactly similar type of approach will have inside the commissions and once we'll click on that we'll have commission name date and amount successfully available so this is how we can build this flow from scratch so that whenever you want to add any additional objects to any of the items that will be easy for you 
to build it from scratch so that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching